Hello everyone, this is me Satya here and I'm back with the first week of October reads. This reading is going to be for the sign of uh, Scorpio. So let's see what is coming for Scorpions for the first week time. I will be adding oracle cards in this reading plus I will be adding messages from your person as well. So stay tuned and uh, while I shuffle the cards, let me remind you it is a general reading. It may, it may not resonate with everyone out there. So always pick the signs and messages which are resonating and I'll leave the rest. For personal reads, you can always reach out to me on my email ID in the description box. You can also uh, check out other services that I offer as well in the description box. So let's see, Scorpions, what can you expect coming up for you in the first week of October time? Start from the 1st through the 7th of October 2021. Let's begin. <clears throat> Three of Wands, uh, there is something that you are waiting for. It can be an opportunity, a possible person, communication, relationship, work, uh, employment, uh, visa, process to get done with, uh, waiting on for a person to arrive, waiting for a relationship, commitment, it can be anything. But yes, I do see you waiting on for something to happen. Um, but I don't see you taking any action. It's more like, you know, you are waiting for it to come through. You believe that you have done the work that you had to, to get it. But, uh, yes, you, you are just being very, uh, um, I don't know why I feel like, you know, you are excited for that. Um, but yeah, that's what I'm picking up. Let's see more cards here. Wow. Eight of pentacles. You are working towards it as well. Like, you know, um, maybe it's, it's going to be more of a time where initially you're going to be waiting on for it to happen, waiting for it to come through. And then when you don't see it coming, you are going to take some action towards it. It can be a specific someone. Maybe there is a specific someone that you are waiting to reach out to you. But when they don't, maybe you are going to be the one taking action towards that person. Um, be that physical action or be that a mental action. It's going to be different for different people. But yes, I feel like, you know, whatever it is that you're waiting for initially in the very beginning of the month, in the very beginning of the week time. But yes, when you don't see things coming, you are going to start working towards it. Again, it doesn't have to be physical work. Maybe for some of you, you might start visualizing, start meditating, start affirming. But yes, you will be start working towards uh, getting what you are waiting for. Uh, Let's see more cards here. King of Pentacles. Wow. Okay. Yes, I do see mental actions being taken here. Uh, be that by you or by the person that you are dealing with. Um, I feel like, you know, this, uh, this, this you waiting on for a specific someone is something which is going to start bothering you is what I'm picking up. And then you're going to get yourself busy doing something else. So you don't have to be on the waiting side for that one person. But at the same time, it's not going to get you, e you know, it, it's not going to get any easy. Even if you keep yourself busy doing something else, it's not going to get easy for you to deal with it. You are going to start feeling the need to talk to this person, connect to this person. And that need that you would be having from within you is going to make you go for a deeper connection that you have with that specific someone already. And you are going to connect to that person through telepathic and to, through energies, through meditations, through uh, you know healing, uh, sending healing energies to that person. I don't see you taking any action towards that person. I feel like, you know, you are going to be taking action towards getting yourself busy so you don't have to wait on for that person. So I feel like you know, it's going to be more of, um, you know, uh, a time where you are going to feel like, you know, you are going to be fine without that person. You're going to be fine getting yourself busy doing something else and, you know, you can take your... Uh, mind off from that one person but i feel like you know it's not going to be the case it's not like you know how you are imagining it to be because i feel like you know the need to communicate the need to be with that person is going to get stronger and with every day you will be having that inner calling to connect to that person there's going to be maybe maybe even if uh, you know if you don't have that pull maybe you will be having flashes of that person maybe you will be having uh you know you know images of that person in your mind you maybe you having uh, you're scrolling your phone and you're seeing their pictures again and again. You are, uh, you know, on the social media and you're, you see their profiles all the time. So it can be like, you know, as if the divine is trying to connect you back to that person. So I feel like, you know, there is going to be the need to connect to that person that you would be experiencing in the, in the later part of the week time. Let's see more cards here. Six of Swords. Nine of Swords. Eight of Swords. There are so many mental blocks. So many mental blocks, egoistic energies, and uh, addictions in this connection that you have with your person. Nothing in this connection can go stable until and unless these two things are worked on. I mean, the deck we do have the two of wands. I feel like, you know, there is this need to uh, get rid of two things. Mental, emotional, physical blocks, and then the addiction. 
the the controlling energy that is coming in this connection is what is basically blocking this connection from growing forward to uh, you know th there is this um, for some of you you might have blocked your person or they have blocked you uh, maybe you are waiting to get unblocked by them or they are waiting for uh, you to unblock them or something like that but I feel like you know there is this uh, uh, you know blocked energy coming in this connection um, again the healing is a must in this connection because otherwise it's not going to go anywhere. You are going to be waiting on for this person. They might be like intending like, okay, fine. I don't want to take any action towards this person. I want it to work out on itself. So there is this uh, egoistic energy as well as mental blocks and emotional blocks coming and uh, blocking this connection as well. Maybe deep down, maybe you both desire the same thing in this connection where you also want this connection to move forward in a stable way. Maybe they also want the same thing. But at the same time, the connection is being blocked. There are so many mental blocks blocking this connection. Maybe you yourself holding yourself back from taking any action towards this person. And that could be the reason why. You know, initially you are waiting for that person, but then you're going to keep yourself uh, busy doing other stuff so you don't have to think about that person. But the more you're going to think of uh, not to think of that person, the more you're going to think of this person. And uh, the need to talk, the need to communicate is going to go stronger, which is going to start affecting your mood, which is going to start affecting your other areas of your life as well. Yes, you demand, you wish, you desire to have a stable life forward, but then there are so many negative stuff going on around the situation that you would be unable to kind of, you know, work proper as well. Let's see some clarifiers here. So let's see what it has to add. Three of Wands clarified by Three of Wands. The weight is heavy there. Like, you know, somebody's really waiting on for something. What is it all about? You really don't want to take action. You really want the other person to take action, basically. So it's it's more like you're holding yourself back. Again, the mental blocks, the ego energy maybe could be blocking you from doing or taking the action that is must. Ace of Cups. There is a strong love. There is a strong um, emotional bond, which maybe you try to suppress um which is why again it's it's like you know you want to control your emotions for this first person and that's exactly what is blocking this connection as well so let's see you really feel like you know you are not ready for this connection right now you know there is this uh maybe you want this connection but not right now it's more like you know it's it's in the far-fetched future but not right now Again, maybe there are mental blocks. You feel like I cannot maintain my work and my family and this and that of responsibilities. But yes, again, these are just, uh, you know, mental blocks. So let's see what else the Eight of Souls and the Devil Energy is all about. Holding yourself back purposely. Not taking the actions that are needed here in this situation. And that's the block. It's more like you're trying to control every situation in this connection. But you fail. Because why? Because this is something which is which is which you are doing from a negative um emotion to it like you know there is this need to control love feelings emotions which is basically going to be reflected uh, in in your reality like you know, you're going to feel very depressed and stressed because of your love life situation um because it's more like you know your ego is stronger than your emotional side like you know the the love is being suppressed by the ego energy by the mental blocks no i don't want to do that i will do that later on but then you are going to start feeling um uh, more block the more you're gonna you know try to it's more like you're resisting what you feel like going for you know if, if you really want to connect to this person you are not doing that you're holding yourself which is again a negative emotion to do or to have because your mind is telling you or uh, your heart is telling you to go ahead uh talk to this person communicate with this person you are waiting for that communication to come in as well there is a strong love in this connection as well but then your ego stops you your controlling energy stops you which is the reason why this connection is badly affected um let's take one more card here yes you're gonna start feeling negative again it's, it's more like you know the situation is not as bad as you have created it to be underneath that if you do have two fonts underneath that the uh, uh wheel of fortune underneath that the strength and the queen of wands i feel like you know you really have to have the courage to go about it um let me take one card from the middle of the deck just to see yes the communicate the communication is a must here because the communication has to happen uh you need to stop uh holding yourself back and if you don't trust me this connection is going to go even worse the situation is going to worsen uh let's see what are the messages of your person for you whoever it is that you're dealing with what is it he or she wants to say to you Sometimes I stay awake thinking about you. So this person really does miss you as well. Uh, but um, yes, I don't know why this, also, this person also not reaching out to you. Maybe you have blocked them. 
maybe uh, maybe something like that I don't know let's see I hope you can forgive me one day somehow for some of you maybe your person is uh, you know waiting for you to forgive them uh, maybe they believe that you have blocked them or maybe you have blocked them because uh, they are waiting for for you to forgive them and so you could unblock them as well so they could communicate to you um, so yeah let's see I feel the love I desired with you and only you this person really loves you a lot and I feel like you know the energy is mutual there because ace with the ace of cups that came up it's, it's more like a mutual energy but then you are holding yourself back let's see what is the oracle message and guidance for you for this uh, week time healing family issues your love life benefits as you forgive your parents so I feel like you know a healing is a must here this this energy that is uh, happening here eight of souls and the devil energy uh it's again uh something needs to be healed the past be that with the same person be that with someone else that needs to be healed because until unless the past is healed newness will not happen in this connection and that is going to affect the connection even worse so i feel like you know the the situation can get better if you have open communication with the with your person until unless that comes in it is impossible for you to have what you desire because I feel like you know the love is mutual there um, but at the same time the ego is blocking it um, conclusions are within reach whatever you desire you can definitely have it now but yes it's it's high time that you understand that acknowledge what is uh, being done wrong here in this connection um, on your part and uh, maybe even if it's in on your person's part as well um, I feel like you know, there is a blocked energy coming in so maybe you have blocked this person from reaching out to you and uh, maybe you are waiting for them to uh, you know connect to you still but how would they connect to you um, let me take one card off uh, to see what's the energy of your person they really want to communicate to you so maybe maybe you have blocked them uh, but uh, yeah they are waiting for communication maybe you are waiting for the communication but the communication has to happen somebody is really holding themselves back it can be you it can be them as well if the energies are reversed so yeah that's pretty much it coming up for you for this week time if it helped you to like share and subscribe till i do the next read for you guys take care bye